Welcome to my world. I am Kiernan Holland. This is what my world looks like. It's a complete mess. I admit, it's a complete mess a la ma mess -a -ma. Uh, Main things are, uh, this is my closet. This is the clothes that I wear. This is the junk that I have. Uh, these are the movies that I prefer. Uh, sorry for the shaky, shaky camera. But they, uh, get a look at these movies and these video games and all that sorts of stuff. And, yeah. And Avatar lenticular photographs. Look at that lenticular cat thing. And, hey, I'm so, in, I'm so into lenticulars. Look at that. That's a sheet of lenticular plastic. It's for large billboards doing uh, 3D, well not 3D, doing 2D ana or um, animated uh, animated imagery. And in here I've got my blender book. Up here I have, do you see what those are? That's an Amiga 1000, that's an Amiga 3000. And up there is a Roland MKS 50 uh, synthesizer module. Which is basically a Roland Juno, um, Alpha Juno, uh, rack mount. Um, it's an analog synthesizer. It's just a digitally controlled analog synthesizer. Um, and I don't even know if the 3000 works anymore. I, I may pull it out and try it someday. Uh, the 1000 probably doesn't work. I don't know. You know, the comp capacitors leak. And uh, after they've leaked out, then you probably they won't work at all um, plus they use uh, this thing uses an rgb output and any nothing uses rgb or the kind of it doesn't use a vga output it uses um video and i mean i don't know remember how it connects to a tv but it's uh it, there just isn't any tvs that except this is input and plus you have to have the floppy disks to uh, load up the uh, operating system and I was trying at one time to get a limiter so that I could watch YouTube videos and have the audio come out uh, correctly leveled out. I came to the realization that I didn't need to do that, but what I needed to do was change the volume of the videos um, uh, when they play. And so to adjust the volume to a level 25 and then increase or decrease it as needed for per video and into the playlist, and that was better than having a limiter sitting on my audio signal, uh, guaranteeing that the volume would be leveled out. Um, it's just not a very good way of doing things. The best way is to do it as to encode into the playlist the volume levels, and that's how I do it now. Um, down here is old hard drives, backup hard drives. Um, there down there is a um, a G, uh, a UPS that I found kicking around. One of these days I'll probably use it. Here is an is a um, that that white thing right there is a is a what's called a, um, a KVM. Uh, it's a, a keyboard video mouse connector. That's so that if you want to use multiple monitors and one keyboard and one mouse. Um, multiple computers and one monitor, one keyboard, one mouse, you can do that. Um, I have some graphics cards that I don't use. This right here is a sound card. I think, I believe this right here is a, I believe that is a, um, uh, what do they call it? Uh, it uh, I can read it. It's a... What is it? Does Creative Labs? It's it's an X it's an an X blaster or something like that. It's a X10 blaster. It's it's a high order, um, really good sound card. Uh, does a lot of spatial sound, but I'm not using it. Uh, this is the Samsung T10, uh, great MP3 player back in its day. Wonderful. 
had the ability to play videos on it and uh these days i won't touch it ever i uh, use it for anything uh some movies that i've got i've i'm a, a supporter longtime supporter of the blender project so i have the big buck bunny video i have the Sintel elephant's dream um I wouldn't say I'm really strong. I I was more strong for a while, and um, I of course I bought the blender manuals and whatnot. And I'd hardly ever touch. Um, what is this? Stevie, that's a great DVD. Stevie Wonder's Key in, Songs in the Key of Life uh, making of um, this American Life videos. Um, I got that for supporting This American Life. They sent me the videos in response to that. Peter Herman's Big Adventure, great uh, movie. Um, somewhere in here, I have um, my most favorite is, um, and it's probably not here for all I know. Um, my most favorite movie of all time is called Brainstorm. And uh, Brainstorm uh, is, is a, essentially... Before there was anything about virtual reality, before even people were coining the term virtual reality, they, um, there was a movie that came out. It was the last movie. It was the movie that um, Natalie Wood died in, uh, died in the making of. And uh, I think it's right here. Yeah. Um, I bought this on my 30th birthday for myself. Uh, I was living in New York, and I said I was going to... Uh, this is this is my present to myself, and because I this this really changed my way of looking at the world that, that someday in the future we would be able to record our thoughts and play it back on other people. And VR is about the closest you'll ever come to that. And this movie is about that. Um, it's just sad that Nellie Wood had to die in the process of making this movie. Um, it wasn't really in the process of making the movie, but it was that uh, she was on a boat with Christopher Walken and her lover, or her husband, uh, um, I forgot what his name was, um, and uh, she fell off the boat and drowned, and they couldn't figure out why it happened, and Christopher Walken's not saying a damn thing. Um, he probably knows, but he probably won't say anything. He'd probably take it to his deathbed. But, um, uh, it was, it was partially, it wasn't completely finished. It, uh, it came to a point in the movie and then they were able to edit it in such a way that, uh, it looked like it, it looked like it was completed, but it wasn't, it, it lacked some, uh, some footage, but that being, uh, that all said, uh, it, the, the story is about VR before VR was even a coined term. Um, it is about the fantasy of being able to play back other people's um, thoughts on uh, on another person to transfer um, the recordings of one person's uh, thoughts on another, and uh, and I think this is really kind of what VR is going to become, uh, is becoming, because as I'm recording this, you're seeing firsthand my 3D universe uh, as if I was recording my thoughts, and uh, you are, it's like your head is right here in my hands, and you're looking at this uh, from the perspective of, of me putting your eyes right down here onto my brainstorm. DVD and uh, playing it back and uh, I could even look at the video myself so uh, but uh, it's the closest thing uh, it's uh, great that uh, we can now do this and uh, we can now share and this is uh, this is the iPad that is this is how I am able to see what the the video device is recording is it does a bluetooth connection to the devices um a recording 
I don't know if it's Bluetooth or it's using Wi-Fi, but it's somehow connecting to the device and um, trans transferring video information onto the iPad. And you'll see this is a feedback effect. Um, so I know what I'm recording. And this is, um, and people have doubts that uh, I say that I'm a Kroger bagger. This is my my uh, badge for Kroger. And uh, all these little things tell you that I, people liked my service. Um, and uh, there's my laptop. There's my desktop. There's another desktop that we don't use. This is my cabinet full of all the electronic junk I've collected over the years. Um, this right here is a Raspberry Pi. Um, my brother got this for for me for Christmas. I haven't really touched it. What's got on it is a working copy of uh, MAME, uh, retro gaming uh, platform, so that you can play old arcade games on, uh, on it as if um, you had the arcade games in here and i mean we could do that 10 20 years ago with mame it's still just mame sitting on a low powered computer but uh it it's better than any nes uh, uh retro gaming system any any of these things that you uh, would buy at christmas time that claim to give you uh, 100 atari games or whatever it is this right here is the real deal um this is my 4K television screen that I've turned into a computer monitor because 